Welcome back to the channel. Out of the drag strip. Got a bunch of guys with us. Uh, where are we at? C8, Corvette, Mustang. A couple other guys who just rolled out the staging lanes. Uh, give it a rip, see what happens. Thing to 60 foot worth of crap. So I'm gonna try loading it up even harder this time. Uh, see if I can get it to uh, 
push on the tires harder. Francisco's truck. I don't know. We'll see. The air's pretty nice. The tuna's a little fat, so I've had to pull some more and more Lines fuel out of the, the top. Tire a little bit. Has a 447 and, uh, reaction time. We'll see if it mile an hour is better than the been, through the eighth so. mile and through the quarter we'll mile. video uh, I was talking about at the end of each run where the motor was breaking up on the top end well I think I kind of figured out what was going on so I think I was running into some detonation pregnation something I run a little bit too much timing since the uh, I had the heads off the car about two weeks prior to going to the drag strip because I had uh, the in, the backs of the heads where the water coolant would come through from the motor from the block into the head some of the aluminum had slowly eroded away so it wasn't running out of coolant and water was weeping past the fire ring on number eight and number four so i pulled the heads off had them welded up machined them down to get them all flat again put it all back together so that was on wednesday and went to the track friday so uh short story shorter uh we ended up at the end of each run we we ended up um pushing the head gasket and at the same time knocked a hole in the piston so that all didn't happen until Tuesday on my way home from work uh, the car started missing really bad because now hole 7 and 8 were compromised and passing exhaust gases back and forth so I don't know if the piston broke on the way home because it did start making rattling noises um, so I'm thinking what happens because I was just like, I'm going to drive this home. I'm going to make it home. Uh, that might have toasted that piston. So probe is no longer really around. Not in the capacity with this type of forge piston. They make some more uh, higher end pistons now. So I'm kind of stuck between DSS racing or trying to buy some of the newer probe stuff or some other forged uh, dished 302 piston. So yeah, so that's where we're at. So car's probably gonna be down until after the new year, maybe. See if I can scrounge up enough money to purchase a set of pistons and then I can get with a machinist and sort out what the piston weight was supposed to be. And I can just make all the new pistons weigh the same as the pistons that are currently in the car and it should be a one for one swap. I shouldn't have to worry about the balance and all that stuff. So yeah, that's what happened at the end of the drag race last week. So, got a broke car. So, thanks for watching.